welcome all our parishioners and any visitors who may be with us today. At this time, please silence any electronic devices. Jesus was born in a human family and grew up as we do. He calls us now to live in his divine family, the Holy Trinity, and grow in his and grace. Let us stand as we begin our celebration.
give us the shining example of the Holy Family. Praise and grant that we may imitate them in practicing the virtues of family life and the bonds of charity. And so in the joys of your house, the light one day and eternal rewards. For Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives reigns through the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
if one has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, so must you also do. And over all these, put on love, that is, the bond of perfection, and let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. In whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. The word of the Lord. First of all, 
as we found in the gospel last week, we saw in the first Sunday of Advent that there almost wasn't a holy family, that it was almost a divorce, that you know, Joseph could have very simply put Mary aside very quietly as had been embarrassing her. And then they found out that he had to have a place to stay as they got into, into Bethlehem. And then there was the flight into Egypt. We heard about it a few moments ago in Matthew's Gospel. And then again, there were still problems. Instead of heading back to where it was supposed to be in Bethlehem and Israel, that they were told because of Herod's son, who was probably worse than his father, they had to find a new place to go. And they went to Nazareth, went to a very beautiful little town. Now, Nazareth, we well, you know a little bit about it, what was going on at the time. Nazareth probably was a very small uh, village had probably about maybe 100 people of all in Nazareth that came, came to live there. They're all of the same family, so it was an extended family that was there. They all knew each other. Nazareth had houses that probably were very, very close together, so they were on top of one another all the time. And probably, probably was not what you think about when we think about the common family look about. You see the pictures that Marcus and Britton have shown us about the Holy Family that Mary cooked dinner and that Joseph made made, uh, made furniture and Jesus was a nice little boy who sat there. But probably he, they had a lot of help raising him, probably from aunts and uncles and all sorts of folks who were around. Because it was an extended family that was there. And they all thrown together. Think about it like all of us, like most families that you only have to all try to get along. Now when families get together for the holidays or any time they get together, there has to be some probably maybe checking our own ideas about what it should happen. Every family, no matter how perfect they may be, even the only family I'm sure had some challenges and some people who just get together and just don't get along sometimes. <clears throat> and someone who runs you the wrong way, but you try to get by with that. Now, my own family, I have a cousin who my whose parents died very, very young and my parents adopted. And my father described her once as being blind everybody in the courts at every funeral. That she had to run everything in the world. But you know, you kind of swallow hard and you kind of go on with what has to be done. You try to make sure there is family harmony all the time. So maybe sometimes we have to do that and I'm sure it happened in the Holy Family also. But there were lots of people around them all the time. So Jesus really was part of that extended family. Certainly the Holy Family had a lot of challenges. And maybe what we see today is that we have to go with what the Lord tells us sometimes about our own families, that they're imperfect all the time. And we, what we need is patience and acceptance. I think maybe the best way to describe what family family should be like, that Paul writes to, to the community of Colossia. He says, my friends, brothers and sisters, put on as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. And as the grievance against another is the Lord's forgiving you, so you must do. That's what family life is all about. It's working together with compassion, kindness, humility, and gentleness and patience. So we celebrate today, we celebrate all families, all who have come together, all how the Lord has joined us, maybe imperfect as we may be, because we are truly are, as the Lord tells us, gifts to one another and gifts from God. So today we celebrate the feast of the Holy Family and continue on with the celebration of the Tibby of the Lord. Let's think about that. <laughs> An individual who each day has shown what Paul talks about, kindness and humility, gentleness and patience. And we bear with one another in the very difficult times of life when the Lord is with us, where it forgives us, where we to forgive and to love one another. Let us now confess the faith the Lord has given to us. 
that I believe in one God.
my sister and brother said, My sacrifice of yours may be acceptable to God our Heavenly Father. We offer you a word of sacrifice and conciliation, humbly and asking that in the new section of the Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, and St. Joseph may establish our families firmly in your grace and in your peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. The truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, mighty and eternal God, for the mystery of the Word made flesh, new light of your glory has shown upon the eyes of the mind, so that as we recognize in Him that God made visible, may be caught up through Him in love of things invisible. To all the angels and archangels, the hosts and the powers of your heavens, we all sing the image of your glory, to without end we acclaim. Father, gather yourself, all your children, scattered throughout the world. 
to our partner brothers too, and to all those who are pleased with this passage and this life, give kind of to your kingdom. And we hope to join forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, who may be so in the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
Monday and Thursday from 8.30 to 3 p.m. And on Friday, 10.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. We close on Tuesday and Wednesday for the New Year's holiday. The Mass Day for the Holy Day of Obligation, Sunday Mary, Mother of God, January 1st, is Tuesday evening, December 31st at 5.30 p.m. And on January 1st, the Mass will be at 9 a.m. Uh, still the Christmas season on our parish will continue on with our Christmas party. It will take place in the Parish Life Center, usually following the 11 a.m. Mass on January 12th. We hope everyone can join us to be there. And we'd like to set up for the party. We will meet in the Parish Life Center on Saturday, January 11th, around noon, to help set it up. Do we have any birthdays to celebrate? Nobody's admitting it. Those of you in the Eucharist are home bomb, please come forward. Go forth and teach the second home bond of our community. Hear the word of life, the Bible Christ can be assured of our prayers and our concerns. This gift of our absent brothers and sisters and his ministry and ritual of life, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Pray those who refresh from this heavenly sacrament from all personal Father, imitate continually the example of the Holy Family, that after the trials of this world we may share the company forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Mighty God bless you the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Celebration of when we go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Amen. 